Hello, everyone. Just uh, wanted to welcome you to this webinar, and uh, I want to introduce myself. I'm Adam Marks. I'm a local rep in Atlanta. I've got Adrian Rivera with me, also yep. my partner rep, and Baxter Crane, who's our uh, account associate. So today we're going to be talking about uncoupling mats, why they're needed, where to use them, and how to install them. Um, so we're going to remind you that this is a webinar. Um, you know, if you have any questions throughout, jump in the chat. Obviously, there might be some things we might miss, and someone will be able to answer those for you while we're going through. So we're going to talk about uncoupling mats and why they're, why they're used. So they're, they're a lightweight product that replaced traditional backer boards. Latacrete Stratomat is a next-generation, high-performance uncoupling mat for use under ceramic tile and stone installations for both residential and commercial applications. Designed to replace traditional flooring underlayment materials such as plywood and cement board, Stratomat is lightweight and allows for easy handling, lower installation costs, and faster floor preparation prior to tiling. The unique patent-pending design of Stratomat helps to prevent delamination or cracking by accommodating the stresses experienced between the substrate and finished tile floor. In addition, the design provides for increased thin-set mortar surface area, forming an interlocking matrix to support any point loading forces while simultaneously helping prevent the transmission of any cracks from a concrete slab to the finished flooring surface. Specifically designed for use with both modified and unmodified mortars, Stratomat allows for the proper adhesive mortar to be used when installing porcelain, moisture-sensitive stone, or large format tiles. Stratomat offers the following innovative features allowing for fast and easy installations with lasting performance and durability. Patent-pending mortar hydration vents accelerate dry time of the thin set by allowing the moisture in the mortar to dissipate faster, achieving early strength so you can grout the next day. In addition, the mortar hydration vents allow the thin set mortar to form a mechanical bond to the surface of Stratomat, providing a long-lasting bond. Vapor management, the mortar hydration vents provide a controlled evacuation of any excess vapor from a concrete slab to protect the tiled surface. Installation and layout are also very easy with Stratomat. The 45-inch roll width allows floors to be covered fast with fewer seams. And the translucent color allows for instant coverage verification below Stratomat, saving time and ensuring proper installation. Plus, chalk lines are clearly visible, allowing for easy layout. Stratomat is a component of the Latacrete Lifetime System Warranty, providing you one source, one warranty, from the substrate up. To begin the installation, ensure the substrate is clean and of a suitable construct to accept a tile or stone finished floor. All surfaces should be structurally sound, clean, and free from all dirt, oil, grease, paint, concrete sealers or curing compounds, and cement latents. Begin the installations by first conducting a dry layout of the mat to determine appropriate cut length location. Thanks to the 45 inch width, Stratomat allows you to cover floor area quickly with less seams than traditional uncoupling membranes. Simply cut Stratomat to the desired length and mark the edge location of Stratomat for proper mortar bed location. Next, using a Latacrete Polymer Modified Thinset Mortar, mix to a wet consistency and apply to the substrate using a 1 quarter by 3 16 inch V-notch trowel, being sure to key the mortar into the substrate. Spread only enough mortar that can be covered with Stratomat during the specified open time of the mortar. Begin installation by embedding Stratomat into the mortar fabric side down. Make sure to leave approximately one quarter inch between Stratomat and the edge of wall or object for movement. Next, using a trowel, apply even downward pressure to the entire surface of Stratomat to ensure proper bedding into the bonding mortar bed. Thanks to the translucent feature of Stratomat, areas embedded properly in the mortar will appear darker than areas not embedded, indicating the level of coverage.
Install adjacent sections of strata mat in the same manner, being sure to line up the edges without leaving any gaps in between. Once strata mat has been installed over the substrate, the tile installation can begin immediately. Strata mat allows for easy visibility of both red or blue chalk lines on the surface, aiding in proper tile placement. After layout is complete, continue the installation by filling the surface of strata mat using the appropriate mortar for the installation. Using the flat side of the trowel, ensure all spaces and mortar hydration vents are completely filled. Follow by combing thin set mortar over strata mat using a notched trowel that is suitable for the size of tile being installed. Then simply install the tile in accordance with industry guidelines. Finish the installation by grouting with Latacrete Spectralock Pro Premium Grout. Latacrete Stratomat is available in two lightweight convenient sizes to suit all job requirements. A 323 square foot roll for larger commercial projects and a smaller 150 square foot roll. Latacrete Stratomat is the next generation uncoupling mat, offering the highest performance available from the most trusted name in tile and stone installation materials. Visit us at www.latacrete.com for more information. Um, some things you're going to need to install, you're going to need obviously a sponge to clean up your substrate, uh, you're going to need a tape measure, knife to cut the mat, chalk line for a layout, and proper trowel for installing the mat. The other thing you're going to need is the proper uh, mortar to install the mat and we're all about warranties here so we have w products we have on the counter here right now give you that lifetime warranty. We're going to be showing Multimax light when we install it and we're going to be showing uh, that you should use a proper grout. So Laticree provides a whole system approach and so we've got the uncoupling mat all the way through to the grout product. Um, so we're going to come around the camera or uh, the table here and talk about a couple things why we want to use um, uncoupling mat. Adrian, in the past, what have installers been putting down prior? Well, for the longest time, um, backer board has been the, the way to go, the thing to use, because it was economical, convenient, and that's just what everybody knew. So as times change, you know, products change as well. So now we have uncoupling. Um, one of the benefits is one board equals, um, you know, one, one board is the same as having uh, 10 boards in one row. So, so what you're saying is 10 pieces of backer board is one of these little rolls yes. that you have right yep. here. So, so and everyone knows how heavy these can be. When you're lugging these up the stairs, you know, it takes a while. So you can carry maybe two at a time where you could carry that row and be done a lot faster and quicker. So one of the other things about putting the backer board down, Adrian, is there, is it easy to cut? Is it, is it clean? What's um, one of the things is a mess. So if you're doing a remodel and you're remodeling someone's kitchen or bathroom, you, you got to plastic that out to make sure that that dust doesn't go anywhere because it does make a big mess, especially if you cut it with a circuit or saw or that kind of thing. Yeah. So we mentioned how heavy backer board is to, to carry up and install. Um, Baxter brought a lot of this material over for us today. This is, like we said, equivalent of 10 sheets of backer board. I could easily carry that upstairs. Cement backer board, you have to install it putting a mortar down. Then you have to go ahead and put in about 60 screws per piece of backer board. And then you have to address all the seams that are associated all the way around according to the manufacturer. Yeah. So there's, this is just giving you a lighter way of doing it. What are some of the other benefits why an uncoupling mat Adrian. So the uncoupling mat, it's a crack isolation membrane. So if you have a substrate that you might have some issues uh, with cracking or you don't know, it might crack as a new construction, this will give you a safety uh, net, if you will, to be able to put your tile installed over it 
and it'll protect the towel because anything that comes from below is not going to transfer up. And if it does move, it ha does have the fabric backing on the back that kind of separates from itself, hence the word uncoupling. And that's where you get you know, a good performance of this product. So we're, we're lightweight, we're easy lightweight. to bring into the job site. Yep. Um, just think about that. You're picking up that tile, you got a whole truckload of tile, you got no room for backer board. So you've got that 150 square foot room, one roll covers that extra bag of thin set to put it down, but it's not really an extra bag of thin set because right. you would have needed that thin set to properly embed the backer board. Correct. Um, Adrian, just highlight a couple things along the side there of what was Stratomat if you... Yeah, so our Stratomat, one of the biggest things with ours is it has the hydration vents. So that lets the moisture come out of the thin set and dry, okay? Um, it helps mechanically bond because through those hydration vents, the thin set rises and it almost locks it in place. Um, vapor control, let's say you have a floor where there's uh, moisture coming through it. This, believe it or not, having those vapor vents, the, vo the moisture will come out of it and not affect your floor. Um, point load, you can go ahead and walk on this stuff and you're good to go. You're not gonna, you know, the, the, the way it's manufactured, you're good, to, you know, it's a good quality. Um, and then, like I said before, uncoupling. So that's some of, some of the, the benefits of it. And, you know, it's available in these sizes. So, thanks Adrian. So when we talk about uncoupling, we look at how we're actually separating the substrate from the tile work. So that little bit of fabric that can move, we've got movement uh, built into it, we've got movement protection um, built into it. And so, like Adrian said, we've got a couple different sizes. So this is the, uh, the regular Stratomat, 151 square foot roll. Baxter's standing beside uh, the XT product. Baxter, what's, what's the benefit of that XT product? Well, it's thicker so that you can, uh, you know, cover if you have highs or lows. Well, if you've got some hardwood you're coming up against, right. so you might have another room that you're coming up to that's a little thick, little thicker three quarter inch hardwood. So we make it in a, a thicker version, um, but that's kind of a specialized product. Yep. You might be going up against some hardwood, but it has all the same features and benefits to it. It's just a thicker product. We also sell the regular Stratomat in a larger 323 square foot roll. And what Adrian's standing beside is, uh, is a new, pro new offering of it. We're gonna demo that, it's, it's sheets. So you might only need to buy yeah. enough sheets to do a room. So like I said, the 150 square foot, you might have a bathroom that's only yeah, I mean, 30, 40 square feet. You just need to get a handful of sheets yeah. um, to pick up and install that. So, so we make it simple for you to be able to pick what you need um, and not have to buy a giant row if you only need as small as a sheet. So is here to help. So um, we're gonna let Adrian uh, go off camera and mix up some product. Remember, if you've got any questions or, or anything like that, jump on the chat, someone will be there to uh, answer you. Um, and then we're gonna get into doing a little bit of demos of this product. And um, so we've got these, we're gonna keep these over here. I've actually brought in uh, a partial roll that we've had from uh, other demos. And um, so we're gonna uh, show that the simplicity of of rolling that out to fit that, that area that you might need to uh, install. As Adrian mentioned, if you had to cut a piece of backer board, you're gonna usually take that up to the, down to the garage, you're gonna mark it up, you're gonna get out a knife, score it, break it, and in some cases you're gonna use a grinder to cut shapes in it. Um, the nice thing about Stratomat is there's no waste, so if I had to go around a door area here, such as that. It's easy to cut. And you can actually use this piece and, and butt it up against it. So you can use it in a lot of different areas. And um, it's really easy to, to cut and lay out. So the simplicity of it is great. Save it for another job. Sorry for the pause there, guys. Um, Let's talk about warranties and installation. Adrian's mixing some product and we're gonna show it get, get installed. You wanna think about what mortar you need to use. And really for us, it really comes down to what is the tile that's being used. Is it a large format tile? So you'd use a large and heavy tile mortar. Is it a smaller tile and using a thin set application? As mentioned, 
Multimax light covers you from a thin set application all the way up to a large and heavy tile application. It's a lightweight product and very easy to install. That can be used for all of these right here. All right, we're going to we're going to get ready to do some demo uh of the product and show troweling, showing uh installing it, talking about a few other things. So Adrian's wrapping up doing some mixing, but we want to highlight just mixing of mortar and I know you guys are out there mixing on a regular basis. So just a, a good reminder is clean water, uh clean bucket, you know, read those instructions on on water uh temperature and, and on the water ratio. So remember, mixing is, is not just put the water in, mix it, and take a guess. You're going to mix it, let that product wet out, uh, wait that, that extra minute, and then re remix it five minutes later and mix it again for another minute. So there's a little process to it. So I think Adrian's wrapping up. He's going to come in, and uh, we're going we're gonna to get installing some of this. And, and while I'm installing, Adrian's going to sort of highlight some of the, the troweling that we're doing. And that, so you can just put it on top of that mat right there, because I'm going to install one of the smaller mats. Um, All right, Baxter, I'm going to get you to uh, help me in a second, guys. I apologize if I go in front here, but I'm going to do a little chalk line for the in the future here of what we're going to do with it. One other benefit of our product is it will take a chalk line to it. So I'm going to jump in and talk about. Uh, proper troweling. I'm going to just, I'm going to be the, I'm going to be the labor and Adrian can talk about what I'm up to. All right. So one other thing, and Adam mentioned some good points on mixing your thin set mortar. Um, with this Multimax light or any of them, you want to mix it five minutes, uh, one minute, let it slake for five minutes and then mix again for one minute. The important part of letting uh, any of these products slake is so that all the, pro all the, you know, materials inside of it, kind of start working with each other and you have a, a good installation at the end. So I just actually cleaned that substrate. You can see how much just dust was just on that uh, piece of plywood. We're going to put out some mortar and proper troweling. So I'm going to let Adrian talk about some proper troweling here. So you want to make sure you take your thin set mortar and you key it into the substrate, which means exactly what Adam is doing there, which is embedding it into in this case, it's wood, right? So it goes into it. Um, once he does that, then he'll take the trowel and put in the, 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 you know, the right amount of mortar into it. Well, then you'll start seeing the lines. With this product, one of the things to look at and look at the directions, and if you have any questions, um, you can look at the product data sheet where it'll talk about it. Um, this mix is a little looser. And we, we require that to install this. Um, and that's anyone that's done uncoupling membranes um, will know that. But this makes it a little looser and it's easier to apply and it'll grip really well. The other part of this is once Adam goes, goes ahead and installs it, you're going to be able to see uh, you know, how translucent it is. So pretty much you'll be able to check for coverage from you know, looking at over it in, inside of it, and you'll see how, where, where the mortar ends and where it begins, as you can see there. Um, there's a nice straight line from that chalk line that he snapped earlier. So now what he's doing is using the long flat side of the trowel and getting that mat worked in into the fin set. Okay, this is gonna help spread it out and give you a good coverage and good bond. Um, speaking of good coverage, one of the things to do when you do this is peel it back and check for coverage. As you can see there, we got really good coverage on this. And having the thin set a little looser helps with that as well. Just a reminder, if you have any questions, make sure you put them down in, in the chat and they'll, get they'll take care of you.
we're going to actually show you a little bit closer view of troweling as well as the um, coverage that we, we achieve. So taking that mortar, getting enough out here onto the substrate, keying in is key. You hear that sound? I've pushed that mortar into any little pores that are in the, the substrate. A lot of contractors will just take the mortar and start troweling and you can see the, the, the plywood right through it. It hasn't grabbed. And at the same time, we're going to leave a spot so that you can see that, that difference of coverage indicator. Never in a swirling motion, always in a directional motion. Same direction. Travel on a 45 degree angle. We're going to butt this up to the other piece. Drop it in place. And you can see over here that, that we don't have any mortar there, so we don't have coverage right there. And right here you can see I didn't go far enough. So we're going to take the edge of that flat side of the trowel. Some people will use a wood float, some people will use a roller. Forcing that mortar in. I'm going to peel it back and check coverage. We have good coverage. I hadn't rolled the trowel over that portion. We'll show off the translucian section over here. You can see I don't have any mortar coverage under here, so it's very light. We've got the shadow Adrian mentioned. We also can see that I missed a spot here, so ideally the contractor would lift that area up, add mortar, And now we've taken care of that, but you can see that shadow of where we don't have coverage. So we can obviously see we've got good coverage underneath the product. And we're going to skim this over nice and slow for the camera. You're going to go in multiple directions to make sure that you've filled all the divots and get that mechanical bond that we want to achieve. And then when you're ready to tile, directional troweling before you embed the tile. And remember, any tile that's over 15 inches on one side requires you to back butter that trowel, just like keying it in with the flat side of the trowel on the back of that tile. So Adam, question for you. Yes. Can you walk on this right now? I could to walk get on to this install right. tile, or do you have to wait for the thin no, to dry? No, you can install right away. Um, you can, you, obviously I would do the whole room and install right away. You can pass me that chalk line, I'll have Baxter go on the other side and we'll snap a line on here. Just go right there, Baxter. So if I was gonna do a layout, you're gonna see that we can hold the chalk line. It's a new chalk line, I gotta, get a little extra chalk on it. But it will take, 
take a chalk line. And that obviously if you're an installer, you know you've done a layout, you figured out where the tile needs to start. Um, Adrian's going to talk about, as I, as I flip over and do some trowel work on top of it, um, keying in on top of it, what we just did on the bottom is the exact same thing. Yep. So as you can see, it's got all the different cavities into the surface of the uncoupling membrane. So what you want to do is embed thin set right inside of it, okay? So just like you would key it into a substrate, which would be wood or concrete or whatever your substrate is, this is an important part to have all those crevices filled with thin set just so that you have a good application of your tile when installing it. It's gonna, it's gonna adhere really well. Um, the way I tell people is like this. If you take some thin set and put it on one finger and go like this, it, it kind of, it might not stick, it, whatever, but when you have thin set on both fingers and touch them, it transfers, right? So that, that's what you want. You want that transfer to come to happen, and that's why you key in into substrates uh, before you install tile or anything else. Now, you see he's troweling one direction. That's important because you don't want to lock in any ear. Hey, Adam, can you show what some people may do in job sites? Show us so, this is not do. the correct way, but we want to show you what is not the correct way. Correct. As Adrian mentioned, some guys are just going to give that quick skim and then they're going to think that they can do some other type of, of trowel work that we just don't recommend. And you're not going to have good coverage. You're not going to have all those divots filled. Yep. But this swirling motion also, like Adrian said, traps air. Running that directional trowel as you put that tile in place allows the air to pop out of the comb area. Um, very simple to install, right? Very simple to check coverage. Um, Adrian, what if I, uh, it's the end of the day and I want to get my mat down but I don't have time to tile. Can I fill it? You can fill it, let it sit overnight, come back tomorrow and install. So see how the, he had the process of getting the lines put in, right? Trolling it with the lines. You can just do what he's doing right now, remove all, any of the access, okay? Kind of like burning it in at the beginning. You're just gonna leave it with a, a minimal amount of thin set to fill in all the cavities, and then go home, have your dinner, come back in the morning, and you're good to go. One thing we would caution by doing this, I would say, you're tiling the next day. Do not do this and then leave that job site to other trades for a week or so yeah. and having people walking all over it. You want to get the, the mat covered with tile, just like you would if you were going to do a waterproofing. You don't want to leave that exposed for someone else to yes. damage and that. So, um, so as mentioned, we have the three sizes. We actually have four, four offerings. We've got the, the XT, so that you're going up against three quarter inch hardwood. We've got the standard strata mat uncoupling mat and the 151 square foot roll. And it also comes in a 323 square foot roll. And then now we have the sheets. The sheets. So one of the other benefits for us is it's 45 inches long on the long side. So that's how the rolls are. Covers a, a larger area faster. Yeah. But as mentioned, this is coming into uh, the store soon. And if you, you only need to use a small area, um, you might only need to pick up two or three sheets of this. And here's another quick benefit. With the back board, like Adam said before, you got to treat every seam according to the manufacturer's recommendations, which is usually alkaline tape and thin set. With this, you just butt it up and go, and that's it. So you could lay your rows. If it's coming off a roll, you, you lay your, 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 your whole uh, length of it and then just butt it one next to each other. Yep, and you would just butt right up to no, it. No setting up, no extra work on it. So Adrian, one other thing that just is, since we're talking about best practices for the installers, we've talked about why an uncoupling mat is lighter, saves them time for installing this mat versus backer board. I put in just one little piece of mat right here. If this was one backer board, I would have had a thin set it, then I would have had to turn around and put a whole bunch of screws in it. We think about 60 screws yep. typically goes into that, that piece of backer board. Then I would need to address the seams. Um, so we're saving time there, we're saving your yeah. You, your, your delivery time, everything like that. Warranty wise, you don't know, you're not getting a warranty from the backer board manufacturer. You're getting a warranty from, from Laticrete on this with, the, with if you're using the, the thin set that we recommend, the grouts we recommend, and the uncoupling we recommend. Um, 
one other best practice, Adrian, is movement joints. Yep. So where, where, where's movement joints typically in the tile work? In the tile work, um, usually around the edges, it, you know, most residential rooms. Um, if you're going commercial, then maybe 12 to 18 feet. So kind of uh, where, where they, you know, TCNA yeah. recommend or said so talks about. Tile Council North America recommends that we have movement joints or soft joints um, in multiple directions. So as Adrian said, if it's a larger room, um, every you know 18 to 20 feet. If you're going exterior application, it's you're having even more movement joints. So just think about when you're walking down a sidewalk and you're seeing all those those cuts in the sidewalk. That's a movement joint there. So it's very important to also put that into your tile work. The nice thing about uh, the uncoupling mat is it allows you to, you're not eliminating a movement joint, but if you, have a, if you, if you want to move a movement joint, yep. you can. Yep. Because that uncoupling mat gives you some separation. Now, you, if, if this is on a commercial application and there's where two pieces of concrete have been uh, poured to, together as a dynamic movement joint, you need to honor that movement joint all the way through there with a soft joint. Kind of like a bridge. When you see a bridge, I mean, that joint is there. It's not going to happen. Right. So that's, that just helps you uh, not have a failure of, of, you know, we get these calls, my grout cracked or the tile cracked. What could we have done to alleviate that? So an uncoupling mat is a big, yeah. big part of that where it separates that substrate with the tile work and gives you a, 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 a warrantied product all the way through. And a quick reminder, if you got any questions, put them down in the chat below. Um, that's what this is for, to help you guys out and make sure that, you know, if you, you got any questions, we can take care of it for you. So, so any, uh, any other little advice let's, uh, let's talk about? We're, we're in the middle of summer right now, so a couple things to think about as we're, we're, we're experiencing some extreme yeah. heat. So uh, the biggest one is that hose that you use at a job site, let it run for a little bit because that water that's snaked in and the sun's baking it, you could probably make tea with it. So we want to make sure that you let that water come out a little bit and it's cool enough for you to mix it. Otherwise, it could cause your material to set off a little faster. Um, and then same thing, bags of Thinset, if you got them in the back, you know, um, they're gonna be warmer. Um, even the rows, these rows are good, but you wanna have everything kinda in this place. So it's, you don't fully have to climatize, but be yeah. common sense, sense and, and practicality of, you know, cool potable water and, um, and then having just, you know, the, the product uh, in a proper environment for that. So, um, I'm trying to think if we got anything else really to cover. We know backer board's heavy, uncoupling mat is light, easy to install, and gives you a stronger setup for your tile to succeed because you have that uh, crack isolation taken care of, you've got the separation from the substrate, and you haven't yep. done any damage to your lungs by cutting up some dusty, dusty backer board. And um, you know, so even the Multimax light that we talked about today, that's silica free. So that, that's another way that we're trying to help you and stay the same, healthy. Same goes with the grout as well. With that yep. grout, you're, you're gonna have minimal sand and dust. So anything different, Adrian, when it comes to grouting, same curing times? Same curing time, you wanna mix the grout for a minute, let it sit for five, and mix for another minute. Now, another important point, Let's say this thin set, you're going down on your floor and it starts getting a little tough. Same thing goes with the grout. Don't put more water, just whip it again, mix it up real quick, and you will get some more life out of it. Um, if you put water, it's, not, it's just gonna set off a lot faster. Awesome. So we've done uh, just a simple installation here for you. We've showed um, how to cut it. We've shown um, how to do proper troweling. We've showed you how to fill, um, fill the, the, the cavities. But we're also gonna talk about a couple other little things. One thing we forgot to mention was this product, you can actually self-level over this product. And you don't need to use a primer for that. You just need to make sure you've used at least a half of inch yeah. of, of self-leveler to encapsulate it. But we're going to do a little recap, and um, we're going to have some features and benefits pop up on the screen for you. And I'm going to hand that over to Adrian. He's going to go through um, each, each point there. And if you have any questions, don't forget to pop into the chat, because there might be something that we've missed 
you might have a question that's specific to a job you're working on. So Adrian, go ahead and, and uh, roll yeah, over so these features and benefits. Let's go over this. So a lot of the different things we talked about, um, we're gonna kind of go in and kind of review now just to make sure that um, you guys don't forget. And just like Adam says, you can put your questions down below. Um, motor hydration vents. So if you guys remember, those are the, the little vents in the product that allows for um, moisture to come out. Some of the benefits are it accelerates the insect curing for faster dry time um, of porcelain and large format towels. So you can grow out the next day. So that's a, that's a pretty good deal so that you can, you know, get that done. Um, another feature is to install with, with polymer modified or unmodified, right? So us as in Laticre, we most of our thin sets are all you know, modified. They all have latex. Um, we want you to use the right product that's called for the type of installation that you're putting, whether it be porcelain or stone or in a pool or whatever. We want you to use the right product. So in this case, with this mat, with the strata mat, you can use whatever you want. Um, mechanical bond, right? So we talked about those hydration vents again. Um, the thin sets forms a mechanical bond to the strata mat. It gives you a little more strength. And because it fills, um, it kind of creates little pillars. It kind of holds it in place in a, in a good way. Um, instant coverage verification, right? Instant coverage verification is what you guys saw from you know, overhead. And you can see that the thin set down underneath it looked like a shadow where it, it didn't look so uh, dark in the areas. And it, that's good for, for a couple of reasons, right? Translucent color. It immediately tells you um, the coverage of your mortar. So it also shows you if you miss a spot. Um, so when you, you know, do your, your checks, you can see right away. Um, maximum roll width. Maximum roll width. Um, this is 45 inches or 1.1 meter. Um, covers floor areas faster, less seams. So again, you don't have to put a bunch of screws in. You don't have to finish all the joints. Um, just some of the benefits that we talked about before. Fast and easy layouts, right? So having those um, sheets and not needing the rows, if you have a small, if you have a bathroom that's 35 square feet, getting a couple sheets will get you to, you know, get that installed and done really quick. You don't have to do a whole bunch of uh, measuring and cutting because it, it, it lays together, right? So, um, the, the other thing about Stratomatic, it lays flat with minimal memory. So when it's coming off the row, it's not going to really curve or curl as much. Um, and then as you saw before, you're able to strike chalk lines and they're very highly visible. Um, provides vapor management, right? So like we talked about again before, if you have a moisture um, issue in your floor with this product, it helps mitigate it. So. Uh, the motor hydration vents provide control evacuation um, of any excess motor uh, vapor from the concrete slab. So usually there's a concrete slab. If it's wood, you're okay. Um, moisture sensitive towel and stone, right? If you're using this kind of stuff, it allows installation of green marble and moisture uh, sensitive stones using our lat epoxy 300, which is our, you know, epoxy adhesive. So these are just some of the benefits um, and features that we wanted to talk about, kind of a recap of what we showed you here today. Um, again, if you have any questions, put them in the chat and somebody will be able to, to help you out. So as, as you're talking, Adrian, I was sitting here thinking about a couple other features and benefits just to give everyone a little cap, recap. Those, uh, these new sheets are 10 square feet. So that, that's a good thing, just doing the math. Like Adrian said, oh, I have a 35 square foot room. You're gonna need four sheets. Um, moisture sensitive stone is, is certainly a big, big thing. We, we recommend this a lot. Um, other places Stratomat gets used a lot, <laughs> elevator cabs. Yep. It gives some strength to it. It's lightweight. Um, and you might have, have an issue where you're meeting the, the, the proper height in there. So elevator cabs. I get a lot of questions about um, uh, access flooring. Um, so a lot of big commercial jobs has access flooring where they want a tile look, but they still want to be able to, to run wires underneath and things like that in certain certain hotels and casinos. So again, that lat epoxy 300 yes, mortar allows absolutely. you to bond this to the top of that uh, steel 
access point and then be able to tile normally um, with that. So again, this is just a, a little recap on it. And yeah. um, so, you know, remember guys, just proper troweling is, is a key thing. Movement joints is something we always talk about. I know Adrian highlighted that. And, um, but we just wanted to cover these features and benefits. The, um, the chat will uh, be open and, um, and, and keep asking your questions in there. So uh, we appreciate your guys' time. Look for this, uh, the new uh, mat system that's coming out in the stores. Know that um, the regular strata mats uh, readily available in, in all stores. And uh, typically the, the uh, XT version is, is special order. I mean, and we have it readily available, but it's, it's one of those things that's not getting used every day. Yeah, and um, Baxter, you, you cover all of the floor and the core stores. You've seen these already in the stores, correct? They are in the stores. Yeah. yeah all, all of the stores. Um, I do have one question, Adam. You mentioned warranty. Um, yep. So how do I register my warranty? Th there's no registration for, for a ladder creek warranty. All really? you have to have is proof of purchase. So keep that receipt. Um, is how we, we honor our product. So that's our biggest thing is, is proof of purchase. Yep. Thank you for that question, Baxter. Yep. Um, all right, well, we, we're gonna wrap up. Remember, if you have any other chats um, or questions, put them in the chat in the and chat. Um, we appreciate yeah. your guys' time. Have a great day. Thank you. Mm -hmm.